Do you know about the latest feature in Mac widgets where you can simply add any particular widget over here on the desktop. Now you don't need to go each and every time on widgets tab to access it. You can directly access it from your desktop. Earlier it was not possible, but now it is. Now let's take a look how you can do it. But before that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. To add widgets on your desktop, all you need to do is you need to point your cursor towards the right hand side top corner, click over there and you can access widgets tab. Select edit widgets and then over here you get multiple options to choose from. Now you can select any particular widget which you wish to add on your desktop. For example, let's say if I want to add notes over here. If I select notes, it will show you the form. If you want a small form, you can select it, medium, it, you can choose as per your requirement. I'm going to select this particular note for now and now you can see first it is adding the notes towards the widgets tab. From here you can click and drag it to desktop. And now from here, you can simply access your notes application. If I select notes, it will open the notes application. Now, the next thing you can do is you can place your widgets anywhere on the desktop. You can see I'm keeping it here. It is staying over there. So you can keep it anywhere on your desktop. Now to remove it, you can just simply right click and then you can remove widget. Now it is not over here in the widgets tab. Now to add another widget, you can just simply scroll. For example, if I want to add a reminder for now. So this is reminder and you can select the form whichever you want. If I want a short form like this, I will select that. First, it goes in widgets tab. From there, you can click and drag it and keep it on your desktop. Also, in the new feature, you can select any particular widget which are available on your iPhone. So that's again a good thing in terms of accessibility. Now you can control the widgets from your iPhone as well. If I show you, if I add Spotify over here, if I select this one and if I drag it towards the desktop and if I'm selecting it, you can see it is showing open Spotify on iPhone to continue. So you can do that as well. Now, one more thing, if you don't want your widgets to be on desktop, if you want to keep it again uh, in widgets tab, all you need to do is you can select it and from here you can click and drag it in widgets tab and it will stay there. So you can do this as well. Now, if you want to remove it, you can just click on edit widget and from selecting this minus icon, you can remove it from widgets tab as well. Now, before going, uh, there's an important tip. Make sure your Mac OS is updated to Mac OS Sonoma because this is a new feature which is only available in Mac OS Sonoma. If you are using previous Mac OS version, you can just simply add widgets in widgets tab, but you won't be able to possible to add it over here on the desktop. So make sure your Mac OS is updated. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. If you find this video informative, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.